Hello everybody. My name is Donna Gray. I'm a stamping up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. I'm bringing you a super, super cute card today using our Honeybee stamp set that's brand new in our 2020 mini handmade catalogue that is available right now. And the gorgeous framelets that match this Honeybee set. So once again, if you purchase in a bundle, you will save 10% and it's celebration time at the moment so if you purchase $90 you get to earn a free celebration item as well so um, I'm just going to go ahead now and start to create this super cute card using the honeybee set so I have got a whisper white base that is cut at five and three quarter inches this way by eight inches this way scored at four inches and I will fold that in half for our base. I've used the whisper white thick so that it's nice and thick and sturdy for our card. Now I've got a layer here of our um, gorgeous grape and it's cut at five and a half inches this way by three and three quarter inches this way. So that's going to layer up nicely on my Whisper White base. Now this Whisper White layer, I'm going to do a bit of stamping on this and this Whisper White layer is cut one eighth of an inch smaller than my Gorgeous Grape layer. So it's just going to give a hint of that Gorgeous Grape in behind, which is super, super cute. So what I'm actually going to do is, first of all, I'm gonna bring in my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and I'm going to ink up the beehive out of this set. Oh, and I had a bee escape there. So I'm going to ink up the beehive out of this set and I'm going to stamp that down just over there. Okay, and now Memento Black Ink. And I'm also going to take the smaller bee that's in the set and I'm gonna stamp the smaller B five times. I need five of these little um, black and white bees. And I'll stamp it a few more times. You can never have too many bees. Okay, so we've got quite a few bees there to cut out. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bring in the Big Shot machine and we're going to, with the framelits, cut out some of these stamped images. Okay. So I'm gonna bring the Big Shot machine in. Now I've got my magnetic platform and I've got one cutting pad for underneath. The only thing I'm actually going to cut out here is the beehive because I've actually pre-stamped and pre-cut the um, five little bees that I needed just to save time for the sake of this video. So I'm just gonna line that up. Now with our framelits, if you can line it up that you can't see any white gap around, we should be right as far as how you've lined it up. Our framelits are awesome these days. They actually um, line up absolutely perfect on our stamped images. And mine moved and it's a little bit off to the side, but that's totally okay. It's handmade and handmade means it's not totally perfect. And I can tell you if your friends came along and said to you, Wow, that's a gorgeous handmade card. I am positive that they would not notice that you haven't cut it exactly straight. So what I'm actually going to do now with my Whisper White layer, I'm gonna pop all those die cut pieces aside. So as you can see, I've got some cute little bees all there. I'll pop all those aside. Now what we're actually going to use is some sponge daubers here today. And I'm going to use our gorgeous grape ink and I'm also going to use our granny apple green ink. So I've already got the green ink sponge that I've been using on a, prior, a card prior to this. So I'm going to grab out my gorgeous grape and my granny apple green. Now, we have two flower images in this set. 
Now one flower image when you stamp it goes one way and one when you stamp it goes the opposite way. So my plan was I wanted to have uh, an array of flowers out behind our beehive. So, and I wanted the stem of the flower to be green and I wanted the flower to be colored. So I'm going to use my sponge daubers. I find this is one of the easiest ways to be able to get multicolored um, ink on your stamp. So I'm just going to, with my sponge dauber, ink all on where the leaves are supposed to be. Then I'm gonna change over and I'm gonna get my gorgeous grape and I'm just going to ink up those flowers. So just like so. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to stamp that onto my cardstock. And you can see we've got the gorgeous grape um, end of our flowers, the buds of our flowers, and we've also got the granny apple green on the stems. So we're just gonna keep doing that to color our stamp. And we're going to stamp an array of flowers around where our beehive's going to sit. So I'm just using the stamp that's all going one way at the moment because I want to set my beehive into here, but I want the flowers to be popping out from behind. So I'll just color that again with my sponge dauber. Just be careful not to get your sponge daubers mixed up because on my sample card, I did have a couple of times where I thought I had the sponge dauber for one color and I was inking it up with the wrong color. So I'm just going to keep stamping these and it's totally okay because our beehive is gonna go over here. So we need to have it that it's starting to come up around our beehive. So I'm gonna grab that gorgeous grape again, sponge that up, grab our granny apple green. You may get a little bit inky when you do this on your fingers, but it is so much fun stamping and getting these gorgeous flowers. I'm gonna do one more of the flower that way and then I'm gonna to change to the other flower. So gorgeous grape again and our granny apple green on our leaves and our stems. Now you could use your um, stamp and write markers for this, um, but I just find that the sponge the sponge daubers are so much easier to do it. So I'm just going to ink up my flower. Now this is the stamp that's going the other way. So I'm just gonna ink up. Now this one's a little bit harder to get your stems to ink up because we have green up in through here and you've just gotta miss that little bud that's over there on that side. Okay, so I keep checking that this is still looking okay with our beehive. So I'm going to stamp this one coming out through here. Ink it up again. So being careful not to get that little tiny bud with your granny apple green. Get your gorgeous grape. And we'll go down through here. We might do another one. I did that one a little bit low, so we'll do another one up in between those two, which will be all right. Now, granny apple green. So I just need another one coming up in between them, like that. And I'll do one more, I think, coming down through here. And the gorgeous grape. Okay, I'm just gonna pop another one down through there. And when we pop this on, mm, I'm going to do another one coming out because I, I, I don't mind that they're just all erratic where they're, where they're sitting. So I'll go again. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp another one just out through there. That's looking good. All right, 
Now, I want to stamp just a couple over on this side as well. So I'll just ink that one up again with my Granny Apple Green. And we'll have some gorgeous grape on our flowers. And I'll just pop that one coming up through there. Okay, I'm gonna grab the other one now and I'm gonna pop a few going the other way. Um, so that was that one we just used, so this one here. Gorgeous grape on our flower. Granny apple green on our stem. Okay, so I want one coming down through there. And we'll go again. And I think I want one just crossing over so that it looks like it's um, growing out of a garden, that they're all growing different, different ways in different directions. Um, I'm going to pop one down in there. And I think I want to pop one going up through there. So I'm just going to, as you can see, you can see my thought process. I just go with the flow. I'm looking, thinking it's a little bit bare in there. We may even just do the tip of a flower in there just to cover up this gap here, which that could be quite good, just like that. I think that looks super cute. All right. So now I'm going to take the sentiment and it says, thinking of you, sweet friend. So I'm going to grab that and I'm gonna ink that up in my gorgeous grape. And I'm just going to pop that down in there. Thinking of you, sweet friend. Now we have our gorgeous bees that we have. So I'm just going to grab some dimensionals and I'm going to pop up my beehive first. And we're going to pop the beehive in the middle just there. And I want it up a little bit so that you can see a bit of the stems coming in behind. So just like that. And then with our bees, they are super cute. They are just the perfect size for one of our dimensionals on the back of each of them. So I'm just gonna pop them over and pop a dimensional on the back of each one of them. Okay, and then it's just a case of, I'm gonna have them flying all around everywhere. So we're gonna have one up there in that corner there. We're gonna have one that's like a little bit confused and going another way. We're gonna have another one that's going, oh, I think I wanna go that way, straight up there. These are so, so super cute, these little bees. They are gorgeous. I'm gonna have one there. And I'm gonna do another one that's flying up around the side here. Okay, so you can see we've got a gorgeous array of those super cute little bees. Okay, so now it's just a case of bringing in our card base and popping this together. So I'm going to, with my liquid Tombow, I'm going to glue that layer to my gorgeous grape layer. Okay, so just like so. Now you'll have a minute little tiny border. I use our... Um, liquid Tombow so we can just move that around that we can just see that gorgeous grape border. So it's a sixteenth of an inch border all the way around but you can see it gives a really nice good um, bit of colour there in the background. So we're just going to glue that one onto our base with our Tombow. Now my thing with this card was I thought it needed a bit more oomph. To me, that was pretty, but it needed a bit more oomph. So of course, when we need a bit more oomph, we have to bring in our Wink of Stella. 
So with my Wink of Stella, I'm going to go through and I'm going to colour all of my flowers. Now this will move your ink on your um, flowers with our Wink of Stella. So it actually colours your flowers. So it gives them more of a solid colour. So um, it actually served two purposes. It gave us that beautiful glimmer and shine, but it also coloured in our flowers for us which I think is super, super cute. So it gives our flowers a bit more depth and a bit more color. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna color all of those gorgeous grape flowers. And if you could see this in person, it probably doesn't show up as well on video, but wow, that glitter of our Wink of Stella is awesome. Type in the comments, if you're watching this on YouTube, type in the comments whether you absolutely love Wink of Stella. I don't think I could live without my Wink of Stella. I use it on lots and lots of projects and it just gives that glitter and shine. So I'm just going to clean that off on a scrap piece of paper. And then I'm gonna go through and on our bees, I'm going to, just their wings, I'm gonna add a little bit of Wink of Stella on the wings. And you wait until you see what I do to the beehive. It just makes it so stinking cute. I'm just gonna go through and just do every second line with our Wink of Stella. So that gives that real band look on our cute little beehive. This set was not actually um, a set that was on my radar when I first um, looked at it, but I can tell you it's definitely grown on me. It's a gorgeous set, and there, I've seen some beautiful cards with it. Okay, and we'll just do a little bit through there. Absolutely stunning. And just to finish it off, one more little bit. I've got our gorgeous epoxy shapes here. And I thought some of these gorgeous grape and granny apple green epoxy shapes would be fantastic on here. So I'm just going to go <clears throat> randomly with these. Oh, two stuck together then. And I might do a third one down here. Now, it's always good to do odd numbers. I want to add some granny apple green as well. So I'm just going to pop one there and probably one over there. But as you can see, super, super cute, gorgeous card with those buzzy bees buzzing around. And I'm just going to bring in my other sample one that I did. And I used, instead of the gorgeous grape, I actually used um, lovely lipstick. And the gorgeous epoxy shapes went with the lovely lipstick as well. So you can see two different colours, but two gorgeous cards using this beautiful honeybee stamp set and frame bundle. So I hope you really, really enjoyed that today. It's a super, super quick, easy card. Now, all of the, the items that I have used in my video today, you can purchase from me online. You'll find it in the link down below in the show more box. You'll find the link to my online store. If this is the first time that you have watched me on YouTube, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit the subscribe button down below so that you get notified every time I upload a video. So thank you everyone for watching and thank you for taking time out of your day. I hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe to get the next video that I upload. Thank you everyone. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.